we're going to open the box and show you what's in it. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I am absolutely dying to look inside this box. We know what's in there, we haven't seen it yet, and it'll be really interesting to see if any of your comments were correct about what is in the mystery box. First of all though, it's quite late, so we need to get some lunch, and then we will open the mystery package. <laughs> Well, necessity is the mother of invention. This recipe is completely different from the original. You should use uh, uh, cream, cooking cream and ham and parmigiano reggiano, parmesan, but we didn't have any of these in ingredients, so yeah, we didn't. So uh, we're using ricotta and uh, instead no ham and uh, some cheddar cheese instead of parmigiano. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure it's gonna, it's gonna be very nice. Anyway. And Emma, you're going to be getting some soon, don't worry darling. Uh, yes, you're yes, getting you some will. food. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 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 <laughs> Was that nice Emma, that pasta? Did you enjoy that? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> mm. Here we are then, it's another beautiful sunny day in Gillingham yes. Marina and it is the moment of truth. <laughs> We're gonna open the box yeah. and see and show you what's in it. Thanks a mickey, Max. Thank you very much indeed. We are absolutely flabbergasted at your generosity yeah. and the, aren't we Emma? And the generosity of your family. So yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. I've just been and got rid of the packaging before it blew into the water. Look at that. So what we have here is a ROV, a remotely operated vehicle. And now with this, we can explore the world under the waves and get extra sessions of video for you from down there, which is just unbelievable. This was one of our Patreon goals and we've been working towards saving for an ROV, but thanks to Max and his family, we now have one. So we're absolutely yeah. blown Can't away by this. It. It's, it's so generous. Absolutely incredibly exciting. We cannot wait to start yeah. using this. What's inside the box then? We've got Deep Trekker DTG2 ROV. It's got a dual function manipulator, which has got a continuous rotate in either direction and open close on the jaw. It's got the sensor fitted to the back of it, so I believe we're gonna have heading and depth. This is it's blowing my mind. I cannot believe that we've got this. It's amazing. Inside the box we have a topside controller with the screen here so you can see what the ROV is seeing when it's in the water. This is the controller for it too. Then this is connected to the ROV with a tether. This relays the data between the topside and subsea and vice versa. This is 75 meters long. If you imagine scuba diving to 75 meters, that is a serious undertaking and you don't get much time down there 
at all. Even if you're a really very switched on diver and you know exactly what you're doing. This, you can throw it in and go straight down to 75 meters. You can come straight back up again. You don't have to worry about getting the bends and all the other issues that you have when you're scuba diving. So that is super convenient. For those of you who don't know, my day job, I work with ROVs. I have done since 2006. Some of them are quite small and some of them are huge and you can do all kinds of different things with them. Usually we work for oil and gas companies, sometimes renewables, wind energy, etc. It's a really interesting job and I have really, really enjoyed it over the years that I've been doing it. I've met some amazing people as well. The amount of work that you can do, even with a small ROV like this, it's incredible. They are so versatile and I am unbelievably excited at the new avenues this opens up for us on our boat. It's really, really amazing. So we've got the ROV hand controller, the tether. We've got the user manual. I've never seen one of these ROVs before. This is brand new to me. We've got the charger. This has onboard batteries and from one charge it can run for four to eight hours. And there's even a small fishing attachment. So you could potentially go fishing with the ROV, which is really cool, really funny. It's another beautiful day again today, really hot and sunny. We've been so lucky with the weather. I'm supposed to be doing another job right now, but as I've seen the wind has dropped down, I'm actually gonna do something on the mainsail. I just hope that the noise that I make while I'm doing this doesn't wake Emma up. She's just gone to bed. Well, I got told off for making too much noise. I've just taken the mainsail down and I'm now gonna fold it and bag it up. <laughs> it's just, it's mind blowing how somebody could be so generous. Max, you are an absolute superstar. Thank you very much indeed. And um, we're going to be able to do so many really cool things with this. Super exciting. Me, look how big you look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the last day that we have with our car that we bought when we arrived in the UK. We've sold it and the gentleman who bought it is coming to get it tomorrow. So we now have to get all our errands done and shopping in to last us for the rest of the time that we're here. We are lucky that there's a big supermarket just about five minutes walk away. So if we need any extra shopping, then that's really convenient. And there's also a bar and restaurant on site here in the marina, which Perfect. is very handy. Yeah. So let's get going. As the majority of our viewers are from other countries, I thought I'd just show you this quickly. In the UK, it's really, really simple, cheap and convenient to buy and sell cars. To change the ownership of a car, all you have to do is fill in the new owner's details here and here. This gets torn off. The new owner keeps this little green slip here. The rest of this gets posted with a normal stamp, which costs about 50p to an address in Wales and then a few weeks later the new certificate arrives in the post to the new owner. I know it's not this easy in other countries, for example in Italy it's quite complicated and expensive to change the ownership of a car. So this is something that the UK does really well. Hello you two. Ready to go? Yeah, let's get going. Mwah. Ever wondered how good a swim can be? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, yummy, yummy ice cream. <laughs> Is that nice, Emma? Oh, ice cream. Thank you. Bye. 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 Well, I don't know about you two, <laughs> but I am extremely Hello. hungry. Yes. Are you hungry? Yes. Should we go and get some food? Yes. And then ready bye. Are you happy, baby? <laughs> Are you happy, baby? <laughs> yes, you're happy. <laughs> yes, you're happy. Baby. <laughs> yes, you're happy, baby. <laughs> Good morning. Well, the car is about to be handed over to the new owner and I've just discovered something. I told you that all you need to do to change the ownership of the car is to complete that V5C form and post it. Well, I've just discovered you don't even need to do that anymore. So if it wasn't easy enough already, they've made it even easier. You can go online and you can enter the new owner's details online. So. You no longer need to buy a stamp and in our case we no longer need to go walk to a post box so well done UK government <laughs> today has been a busy day a lot of editing and a lot of Emma yes uh, and now we are in the cockpit uh, as you can see and we're about to do a quality control check on our yes. latest video because sometimes when we export it from the, our editing software we don't have a really powerful computer so sometimes we have glitches and, and we only know that if we watch the entire video and make sure there are no problems so that's what we're about to do now and it's very nice out here so it's a very nice environment in which to do that beautiful office and we're gonna enjoy a shandy yes. or at least meet our for shandy <laughs> and Emma's got something to say, haven't you Emma? What do you want to say? Why aren't you subscribed? We've seen from our analytics that in the last month seventy percent of our viewers have been watching and not been subscribed. So go ahead, why not? It's free. And all it means is that you'll get notifications when we release new videos. Thank you. <laughs> ciao, ciao.